welcome back to my YouTube channel. We've got a different setup because I'm just in my office, so if I move back, I'm on a wheelie chair. Uh, got an unboxing. Mega unboxing. Um, I mean, that's a box. Is it not? That's a box. Um, so, firstly, my thoughts on the Louis Vuitton price increases. Um, it's not stopped me buying. That's basically my biggest thought. It's gonna, like with those price increases, yeah, we talk about Chanel price increases, it's put me off, and again, never say never, but at the moment with my current taste, it's put me off buying a classic flap for those prices. Don't love it that much. The Louis Vuitton price point, I don't feel like that, although potentially for the Capucines and the uh, Cousin. Um, I have a Cousin, um, which I got when they were first launched in 2020. Uh, I got the MM size. I don't think I need another one, despite seeing some of them that are quite nice. Um, so yeah, so I don't really feel like the prices are excluding me. And then I bought this. Let's unbox it. I'll show you. So, ooh. True unboxing. But the, the, the wheelie chair is actually quite handy. Oh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Come on, let's have fun. Um, right. Look at all the orange. Ooh. Okay, receipt. <laughs> there. Uh, right. Get, let's get to the good stuff. of the box has nearly sent a mug flying. Right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of this under the box. Oh dear lord. The big cardboard box is now gone. Welcome to my unboxing. Right, let's just look at the ribbon. Let's do this. I'm so excited. Well, I'm even use this tomorrow. I don't know. I'm that excited. I said to my husband, I need to unbox it, check I like it. And he just looked at me like, he be skipping around with it. It's a new bag. It's a new bag. From the Louis Vuitton By The Pool collection. That's bag. Let's pop. Try and do it slightly less noisily. Unless you've got like a massive table right in front of you, there is no easy way to do this. Oh, right. Put in the comments box below, what do you think it is? Big clue. Undo this so I can show you properly. It's an Everfall. <laughs> For those of you that didn't know. So this is from, oh, it's beautiful. This is from the new By the Pool collection. Now, this year, since I said, I don't want to buy handbags. I feel like all I've done is buy handbags. And um, it's a bit like when I say I'm not gonna eat so many biscuits. It's like the biscuit barrels taunting me. And I feel like that's what Louis Vuitton have done because it's not been so much my resolve that's been at fault, obviously it has, but it's more that the actual items on offer, I just could not resist. And it's been a timing thing. Now, for years I've been thinking about what type of bag would I want for, you know, a lot of people have these nice summer totes. 
and I've looked at the Chanel Deville. There's you said on the the, the Rive Gauche. Um, they're on my sort of top list. The dual, dual book type, I, I mean, I have one, I like it, but I, it's too square. And I, I've always thought if only Louis Vuitton did like a raffia type Neverfull, because I love my Neverfull so much. That's, for anyone that's a regular here, if not, can't be a regular, subscribe. Um, I love my Neverfull. But I don't like the thought of the, the like the canvas in the sun. I feel like it's going to melt. I'm sure it's not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm always super casual. And I just wanted something. I mean, I'm going to be careful because it's pale. Colour transfer. I know all that. But I just wanted something with this summer vibe. So I'm filming in natural light and, at the end of the day. So I'm hoping you can see enough. This raffia material. There we go. So you can see the raffia material and it's not coated it's unlike the monoglam it's not coated it's unfinished and then the white monogram is if you can see but it's basically embroidered if you can see the stitching there it's all embroidered and then the handles and the trim are white leather they also do this bag in a version where exactly the same base but all of this is black but I just wanted this. I just had visions of know, visions of me looking a bit different. Obviously different to this, but I've been working all day. Um, but yeah, just visions of this with like white or cream trousers and whatnot. Anyway, inside traditional Neverfull. Um, you've got this nice thick cotton lining. Obviously the closure. We've got the D-ring with the pouch there. I will show you that in a moment. Um, the hard, I don't know if it's because of the colour, the hardware just looks stunning. It's gold hardware. Um, oh, got some branding here. Mine says Louis Vuitton Paris. I don't know if you can see, made in France. So yeah, we've got the usual slot there that opens to give you an idea of size. Oh, look how, oh, how does my phone case go with it? Um, give you an idea of size, phone, iPhone 13, Pro, normal, in there, super, super easy. I'm hoping to get a, oh, it's not going to come yet because this all came very quickly, um, a bag insert to, to protect this from Zimoni. This is a bit nice. Right, let's unclip this. I mean, like, basically the Neverfull is, there we go, that's it. Um, and I don't always use the pouch for my existing, my canvas, my monogram never fall. I have it and sometimes I use it and then I'll use it as like a little evening clutch because it's quite handy. Um, so I haven't sold my one, I know a lot of people sell them, but I'm keeping it. Um, but I don't always use it day to day. Um, especially not if I then have a bag organiser inside that's got the pockets so I don't need this for any organisation. I love this. Right, let's just pop that down and show you the pouch. So again, we've got the strap, which you can have obviously to clip it to the D-ring, or you can have it loose in, or you can just clip that on there, and it makes this be like a little wristlet. You can buy conversion kits. I'm not keen on them because for this, because of how it zips, I think you have to make a little hole, and I'm, it's not for me. Um, I like to keep the maintain the integrity of the original item. So you can see they've got the same interior. Uh, and it says they're made in France. We've got a slip pocket. So again, if I demonstrate using my phone, that just goes in like so. Um, so yeah, so you could use this absolutely for a little evening clutch, put a little bit of makeup, phone, flat card holder. Not a lot because it's completely flat, completely thin. There's white glazing, but I think that's really tasteful and potentially even you say you've got a haven't got a decent bag to go for a wedding and, and you just want something small with a couple of bits in then I really think that's quite tasteful just to have there with your outfit so that's basically it this is my beautiful gorgeous never oh and base 
as well, so that will help keep it clean, is just this white leather. So again, this isn't a bag to be mistreated in terms of the risk of colour transfer and dirt. I absolutely love this gold hardware against the white leather. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't think this is going to be as carefree as my monogram canvas one. But it feels fairly durable, it's mainly colour transfer that I think and dirt that will be the key concern. But I wanted to go with summer outfits, so there we go. If I, if I, if I need an Everfull and I'm worried about colour transfer, I'll use the other one. Um, I have this in my head, dressed with greens and whites. So yeah, this is, oh, that's a bit of fluff, we don't do fluff. Um, little bits of subtle branding, aside from the obviously the embroidered monogram and what she looks like on, like never falls. I just find that the MM size, which this is, so if I didn't say that, so comfortable. Oh, can't go back any further, but that's uh, basically what she looks like on. It just sits, I find the never fall on me just sits so well on the shoulder. The straps are nice and comfortable and they'll only soften even more as well but they're not uncomfortable as they are. I love her and it worked out well when I bought my Pachette Matisse East West in the Monoglam originally I was going to get the Neverfull because typically within my handbag collection I do not duplicate bags. I'm not one of these people that has various um, medium large Chanel classic flaps in lots of different colours. That's not what I do. I tend to, yes I have more than one Berkey, yes I have more than one Kelly, but they're all in different sizes. The Kellys are a mixture of Ritorne and Celia. I haven't got, you know, a Kelly 28 in lots of different colours. I don't tend to duplicate. When I did duplicate as a one-off, I then decided which one I preferred and sold the other one, which was when I had two Picatins, but also the Picatin isn't my favourite style. I like it, but I don't like it enough that I want to. The Neverfull is that exception. I mean, I, I'm not hankering after more, but when the monogram came out and I thought, gave myself a lot of thinking about this and thought, well, I could justify to myself, not to anyone else, I don't need to, but to myself, I could justify the monogram Neverfull because of how much sheer use my existing monogram never fall had got. Um, so I could justify giving it a rest, I could justify having another one because I knew I would use it. It wouldn't sit on the shelf being unloved, it would be used. Now yes, this is probably more of a summer bag than a winter one, so it's not quite year round. Spring, summer. It would look nice with like a white winter coat, but not on a day that's peeing down with rain. It'll probably soak it all up and become really heavy. Um, you know, it is more of a fine weather bag, I know that. But that's what I wanted it for. So that's how I justified it. And like I say, when I went to get the monogram never fall, I preferred the Pachette Matisse in the monogram. So that's why I got that. They have both there, I tried both on, and my heart just went with the Pachette Matisse East West. And then that worked out for the best because then I saw this was launched and I was like, well, I've justified that I can have another never fall, and here it is. Now the timing sucks. I've spent way too much money in the last two months on luxury. Now we're done, but it was just like I say, because of what was launched at the time, and I just was worried as well that the items I like would be super, super popular and run out, and I wasn't playing that personal shopper game and, and all that, I just wasn't going there. So I ordered this from the website, hence the uh, enormous box that it came with and not just in a bag, because uh, I was too impatient. I ordered this on Sunday, and it estimated it would arrive between the 9th and the 13th of June. Um, and it's come today, which is Wednesday the 7th, so I ordered it on Sunday, it's arrived on Wednesday, two days ahead of the earliest date that they estimated. So that was good, UPS Express, so thank you very much for that, Louvitton. And um, yeah, I think that's about all I can say. If anyone's got any questions, then do let me know. Um, they also do matching shoes, you can get like some, plat like some I think they're wedges, either wedges or platforms, can't remember, and also some flat sliders in this same material. So they look very nice. I won't be getting them, just having this is enough for me. Plus with my next unboxing, which I ordered 
It came yesterday. I ordered it before I knew I was ordering this. But anyway, we'll see that in another video. I'm going to do the separate videos um, because they're very different. They'll go well together actually, but they're different items, different brands, and yeah, I'm just going to do them in separate videos. Um, that way each video isn't too long and hopefully you'll, you'll stick around for it. So here, here is my beauty. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the collection as a whole. I think there's some really nice stuff there. Um, I was thinking about what bags I've bought this year and it's pretty much all been Louis Vuitton. I'm obviously going through a Louis Vuitton phase. It wasn't, that's not been a conscious decision. Um, so let me know what you think. I'm thinking of doing a video soon on basically an updated video on my entire Louis Vuitton collection. So it will include bags, but it will also include quite a lot of bags, but it will also include accessories, SLGs, um, scarves, you know, so if you would, and jewellery, yeah, stationery. So yeah, I'll do everything that I own that's Louis Vuitton. So if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments box below and um, I'll make sure to, to film that. Any questions on this, let me know and um, that's it from me.